Honor, we're silver with pink. Weighed in 58.1 kilos or 128 pounds even. A 10 fight record, six wins, one KO, three defeats, one draw. From Smedarevo, Serbia, Nino Pavlovic. And across the ring stands the champion, boxes out of the red corner, wears white with red and gold. She weighed in 57.6 kilos or 127 pounds even. She has an outstanding record, 22 contests, 21 wins, 17 wins by KO with only one defeat. She is the former French and European champion and tonight makes the sixth defense as the IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Paris, France, Maiva El Veneno Scheduled for 10 then, Maima Hamadouche making yet another defense of the title that she won back in November 2016. She beat uh, Jennifer Salinas by unanimous decision, since then has defended it absolutely brilliantly, stopping Mylena Koleva, stopping Anahi Sanchez who's good, getting a majority decision against Miriam Delal, although two judges had her winning it. Getting rid of Vivian Obernauf, and most recently in July 19, that's her last fight, Yaneth Perez stopped her in six. Pavlovich, in contrast, a 6-3-1 record, only had one win in her first four fights. It's a oh. massive step up for her, but she looks like she's going to decide to just get in there and trade yeah, with she, the champion. She's doing pretty well in that in that format as well. well she's got nothing to lose. No, nothing at all. Landon, lovely clean shots there. With good balance, decent poise, they're well picked, they're not wild flailing shots. She doesn't look like someone who's um, had 10 bouts. She's. Uh, and, and, and with moderate success in those yeah, bouts, I tell you, yeah. she's got a couple of little bright hands that she's landed, are already bringing up a bit of a swelling under the eye of uh, Hamadouche, the left eye of Hamadouche. But Hamadouche is tough and strong, and she does keep coming, Nick. Well, and, that's you know, it, she is relentless. Yeah, pressure is, uh, gives everyone trouble. She's very strong. She can maintain this. She doesn't really... I tell you, another right hand from Pavlovich. Yeah. And uh, Hamadouche is just soaking him up and, as you say, coming forward. A one defeat came, I think we're super featherweight, remember, a one defeat came against the very tough lightweight Delphine Persoon, and that was oh, for the yeah. WBC lightweight title. So she's operated at such a high level. Person, one, of the, one of the toughest one of the toughest female fighters on the planet I would exactly. say at her natural weight as well yeah, Ma yeah. And massive for that weight yeah. really big she looked two weight classes above Katie Taylor yeah there's that swelling coming up under the eye there she took a couple of early right hands and uh, Pavlovich, who does come into this one on the back of a knockout win yeah. only a couple of weeks ago as well that's a well, she comes in with a, making a voluntary here by Eva Hamadouche with uh, all sorts of talk of unification fights around the corner. She signed to the same promotional banner as the WBC champion Terry Harper, the WBA champion Hyunmi Choi, who boxes on uh, the Golovkin undercard tomorrow. And uh, the WBO champ, of course, is Michaela Mayer. And uh, Nina Pavlovich looks like she wants to come and gate crash that particular party. Very positive start. It really was, yeah. She got some nice combinations off Landon Flush with the right hand and the left hook on the back of some combinations. She sh shipped a couple as well, which she took very well. But the question for me is, can she keep Hamadouche off? Well, that's the question. For the whole 10 rounds. Well, she got that win a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago, in uh, her native Serbia against another Serb. Uh, Milena Sponja, who was a three and four opponent, but she'd never actually been stopped. She got her out of there in three. The only opponent of note for Pavlovich was uh, 
Elena Gradina, the Russian who was 9-1, and one, who uh, just lost for the interim IBF featherweight title yeah. on the Shields Hammer undercard in Atlantic City. And Pavlovich was the comeback opponent. Got a draw on one of the cards there as well. So you look at the last two fights, Pavlovich has definitely stepped up a level or two. Yeah. But still doesn't have a win of note. And, uh, she's having trouble here. Yes, yeah, the body work from Hamadouche and uh, Pavlovich. One particular left neck went round the rear, right round the rib there. Yeah, and she's felt that. Yeah. Well, uh, Hamadouche is such a hurtful puncher that puncher that high KO percentage. Uh, Pavlovich down and uh, didn't look too good at all now. It's only a two-minute round, but there's still a lot of that to survive. And this is the thing with Hamadou. She's on you relentlessly. That ring is very, very small when Maeva Hamadou is hunting you down. And Pavlovich survived this. Get herself a minute on her stool. Good response from the young Serb. That's nice. Ooh, ooh. Good to see her make a fight of this, but of course Hamadouche yeah. knows she can hurt her and she knows where she can hurt her as well. Ooh. Just relentless and that's what she can't do, Pavlovich. She's got to keep yeah. firing around back. Around she, she's, right she's, she's just to really get out of that corner. Yeah, she can't just uh, allow Hamadouche to tee off like that yeah. for the uppercut there and the straight right hand. Oh, she's gets one with back. Jab as yeah, well. that was. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, it's all action with Hamadouche. That's for sure. Well, she's just not physically strong enough to oh, keep her off. The, neck. Yeah. There's those hooks to the body, those yeah. left hooks to the body that did all the damage. But uh, Pavlovich survived. When you consider how early she hit the deck in that round, you thought, hello, this could be another stoppage win for Maeva Hamadouche, but Nina Pavlovich is still there. Well, she's in deep here, and I thought she might be on her way out. There's that body shot you referred to, that left Great hook. Great round, wasn't it? Great round, the Perfect. side of the rev, yeah. First one, yeah. There's only one. There was a an array, and the camera was on kind of the other side. If the people didn't see it there, but yeah, it went right round the back of the right round the back of the elbow, and she just wasn't she just wasn't looking. And that's the shots that hurt you. The ones you don't see are the ones that hurt the most, Nick. Round three. And uh, the fast start from Maeva Hamadouche. Just looking to completely impose herself on her opponent here. Such an opportunity, this for Pavlovich, but also, as I've already said, Alex, you know, she didn't have a stepping stone fight here. She suddenly got thrown in with one of the best super featherweights yep. in the world. After uh, 10 uh, this is tough. This oh, is tough. She's, right she's really getting tagged now as the defense is starting yeah. to unravel and fatigue is starting to kick in a little bit. And it's hard to see how this goes 10 rounds. The way Pavlovich is just getting picked off. It's just it's just a swarm that comes in yeah. from Hamadou. She just overwhelms opponents. She sure does. She did get the feeling at, in the first round that there was a potential for a, a very good bout here. But we know that Hamadou loves to just put pressure on the opponent. She never stops coming. The shots, she doesn't even move her head that much. She just comes forward in straight lines. Well, this is, what, this is what those down. other champions are looking at because from, you can see what Hamadou does well and what she does well, she does very well, but there's no defensive work at all. Absolutely none. This is going to get stopped if Napavlovich doesn't respond, and she did. Had to. Yeah. As you say, she switches off and allows Hamadouche just to tee off on her in those corners. And in danger of being utterly overwhelmed here, Nina Pavlovich. But, yeah, she will have success if she can fire back, and she's landed solid, consistent right hands. It would be interesting to see Hamadouche, how she would react if she didn't get all her own way. And again, she's got to sleep in the corner. Pavlovich wakes up just in time. But Hamadouche just picking her off pretty much at will. Done well again there, Pavlovich. Yeah. 
But the uh, tide after that promising first round for the challenger as well and truly turned here. Got tagged very early. Oh, she dug in that body shot yeah, again and uh, yeah, yeah. brought a left hook upstairs as well off the back of it, Hamadouche. So, um, Havlovich sticking to it very, very gamely here, but uh, that's been a tough couple of rounds for her. Well, somebody's told her a funny story in the corner, I'm not sure what, but uh, nice to see the smile there. Now, Maeva Hamadouche will look to wipe that smile off her face. She's not smiling, is she? Policewoman in Paris, I believe. Really? You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be uh, no, I would. breaking any uh, lockdown restrictions yeah. with her around, would you? And there she comes again. And poor old Pavlovich. I say she's on the rope. She's just getting backed up there again. Getting through, though. The defensive work for Hamadouche is very, very questionable. Uh, there go the body shots again, and she again switches off. She's got to fire back and does. But she does allow Hamadouche just to take the initiative, pick those body shots. Pavlovich showing terrific durability, but another body shot, a big oh, dip at the knees. Well, She's mate. really, really feeling this. Yeah. And if she doesn't get out of that corner, oh, Enrico Terlizzi oh, may have a decision to make here. She's getting well. really one-sided now. She just doesn't stop coming, no, does she? relentless. Um, she just can't get out of it. To dishearten this girl must be such a difficult task because she just keeps coming. Well, you've got to make a miss, lines. haven't you? You've yeah. got to make a miss, and... Uh, Pavlovich can't do that. You've also got to try and stop her in her tracks then, because if you don't get her respect for your punch power or your punch accuracy, she will just keep walking yeah. forward. Yeah. It's as simple as that. And she's very, very fit as well. She just keeps them coming. Like we said, she can do this for 10 rounds without yeah, much problem. And, and you can see how she's got all these knockouts as well. She just it's, yeah. she just overwhelms a player. Yeah, she just, does. Just takes, sheer, takes all their resistance punch by punch. Yeah, sheer relentless pressure. Yeah. Really picking those nice body shots here, Pavlovich doing enough, but then she sits back. She's in her forearm there to try and pull down Pavlovich's gloves so she can land clean shots. Oh, well done there. Pavlovich coming back. Oh, nice uppercut there as well. I I can't see Pavlovich winning this fight. I don't think she's got the power, but all those other champions I was talking about, we're looking at the head now at unification yeah, fights. Yeah. They're looking at what she can't do. This woman has never, obviously, in her career, had to defend herself. No, she's so open. <laughs> she's so open. She's so aggressive as well. But that's it. Yeah. Because she overwhelms opponents, she doesn't have to worry about defense because so little comes back because... I'm She's sure a lot of her opponents have yeah. just gone, hey, I've got to yeah. try and survive this yeah. whirlwind yeah. here. Yeah, she totally shuts you down. Straight back out, isn't she? Maeva Hamadouche, round five of this ten rounder. It would be interesting, Alex, like you say, if, if Nina Pavlovich can land something that makes Hamadouche stop and think and just think, oh, I've got to think about this as, as I come in, because at the moment she has no respect for her opponent's power at all. And she took some good punches right at the start of the fight, just walked straight through them. Interesting to see what Hyun Mi Choi, the Korean, looks like tomorrow night as well on the Golovkin undercard, which you'll see here on the zone. This isn't going to go on much longer. She's absolutely out on her feet here. Yeah, that's getting marked up around the right eye, but I think it's these body shots that are just slowly but surely wearing her down. 
it really has oh, all go again. It's just, and it's, it's just, well pinned yeah, as well. There's, there's nothing left. It's, the sequence in that movement was fantastic. Yeah. A lovely jab from long range to shot, a mid range right uppercut which put her onto the left hook to the body. It was really good punch picking. Well, does Hamadouche finish it here because you think one more? Very like Mexican like that. Nick. It yeah. was very Mexican like in style. Good punch picking there. Good defence there as well from Hamadouche. Oh, she's so brave, isn't she? But she keeps getting herself caught in this corner, Pavlovich, yeah. and uh, oh. just getting tagged. Yeah, endlessly. And it's a very, very one-sided fight. This the pressure that well. she keeps on, even with her feet. Um, even if she's not actually throwing her hands, the pressure with her feet is quite unbelievable. Yeah, really. it really is. It's like a little female Wayne McCulloch, isn't she? <laughs> she just keeps her right in front of you. Oh, another big one. It's very exciting to watch, isn't yeah, she? She's not boring. No, she's very exciting to get watch. Her. I go back to the Terry Harpers and the Michaela Mayers and Choi. If yeah. they can't box on the back foot, they're going to find her very hard to deal with. Oh well, yeah, because you're going to be are. spending some time on the back foot. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she, I don't think she knows how to. She doesn't do back foot. Yeah, I don't think she knows how to box back on the back foot. Eh? Well, when she went down again here, I thought Pavlovich might, might not be able to get up from that. Yeah. Great heart. That one took, punch pick in. That took everything out of her. There's a right, right uppercut onto the body shot. Oh, these brilliant left, these stuff. These left hooks to the body. Are, That's, are, and the way that she threw that there, the punch selection there, and the variety that she used to switch to the body was something that we've not seen any of the guys do tonight, really. No. Very impressive. Second I want to see Nina Pavlovich take a beating here because at 23 that would really uh, um, lack in the experience that she has. I mean, she's come up with a hard school, lost on her debut and only one win in her first four fights as well. So that shows that, that she's got a bit of heart. She didn't just give up as soon as it got a little bit tough. And it's certainly been tough here in this fight and she's definitely not given up. Far from it, but here we go again. This body work is just relentless from Hamadouche here in round six and there is less and less coming yeah, back now less coming back Pavlovich. Yeah. and I don't think there's an awful lot of power behind these punches from Pavlovich either she's had an awful lot knocked out of her literally tonight it's just it's just from one corner to the next isn't it there's no escape no hiding place she's absolutely out of this a very very courageous effort and what has been a massive step up for the Serb. And that's still trying to find something. And now she's got the referee on her case. Well, why not? Hey, nothing else is working. Drop the shoulder in. So, here she comes again. And now she's found another corner. Just missing with the uppercut there. Uh, can she measure? That's a nice uppercut there. Can she yeah, measure that body shot? shot? Yeah. Just looking for little opportunities, little gaps, little ways in there, Mick. You know, so not that much to touch on here from me, really, in this round. This um, now a very, very similar pattern. The only question is when is it going to actually come to a point where you're like, okay, right, let's get. Pavlovich out of there now. She's just took too much step. Some of these shots are going in too heavy. That's a lovely body shot as well. Yeah, really. She keeps throwing back though, Pavlovich, doesn't she? Yeah, she She's does. very, yeah, very game. She does. But also, um, we've not seen any um, typical boring patterns for, for Hamadouche either. You know, she's constantly given a different variety all the time. She's looking for different ways while being excited the whole time. So, really good stuff. Well, good stuff, unless yeah, you're Nina no. Pavlovich, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah. But you've got to admire the way that she's um, setting up some of these body shots. Look at that. You know, just enough to preoccupy um, Pavlovich's mind with something else, and then she quickly switches to the body on the on the other side on the back in two shots. It's really impressive. I keep looking, though. That left hook that Pavlovich landed there. Hamadouche is so open to those counters. She's yeah. so desperate to get her own shots off. And, boy, she does that in bunches. She yeah. is... 
wide open to counters. But she's so physically strong and tough and she uses the pressure to shut down the ring so well that I think she takes a lot of weight off her opponent's shots. I think it's really hard to get her with a good, clean, hard shot. You will catch her. You can't really miss her. But will you get her with enough impact, enough authority when she's all over you like this? It's very difficult. You know, there's intelligent punch picking there. Yeah, it oh might yes. look to some of the, the viewers that she's just trapped a girl in a corner and she's beating on her. It's not the case. No, she is picking. Yeah, she's opening up the defences. Yeah. There's not a lot wasted, is there? She's no, not just not. flying no, away. No, she's not. And her head's always tilted as well. Her chin's never up there, out to dry. You know, she's uh, she's always in a sort of heavy front foot position, so so de difficult to deter this yeah, girl. So yeah, difficult yeah. to deter. Pavlovich is just in the eye of the storm here, and there's just no hiding place. It is literally one corner to another. I think I said that earlier. All she does is she backs up, finds herself in another corner, a lovely long raking jab there, and here we go into another corner. For old Pavlovich, just getting battered at the moment. Straight back on her as well. Just more of the same. I think she's had enough. She's had enough. Well, she's asked for a stoppage there. Yeah. The referee. Well. What's happened here? What's happened? I mean, you can't just say, oh, I've had enough. Oh, she's saying I got a low one. That's what's oh, happened. All right, OK, OK. She did get a low one, and the all referee right, yeah. didn't really react on it. But uh, and it was a low one. Yeah. She's still trying. She showed a great deal of heart as well here, Pavlovich. She really has. Well, Hamadouche did the right thing there as well because she stopped, and uh, you only stop when the referee tells you to. And Hamadouche said, "Well, I'll I'll leave this one alone." Well, the only good thing you can say for Nina Pavlovich at the moment is she's still there. Yeah, she sure is. Oh, that, yeah. she has taken a pounding. Yeah. It's a world title fight, Alex. You don't, you don't pull people out yeah, unless no. they're in serious trouble, but yeah, so she, she's got to be borderline, Pavlovich here, surely. I mean, she's just having no success now. No, none. She's got just under six minutes of this still to endure here, Pavlovich. She doesn't have, as you say, the physical strength to push Hamadouche back. She can't hold her off. And whenever she does land like that, that was nice, that right hand, but it, nothing discourages the French woman. No, does back it. in there again. It's unbelievably tough, man. Those gendarmes, mate, you don't mess with them. You just wonder what it would take to dishearten her as well, you know. What would it take to, dis to stop this woman just coming at you the way she does, you know, she's... Uh, and she has good footwork as well. Oh, yeah, you know? She's yeah, not, not yeah, clumsy yeah. footwork. She's not, she's not know, just some head no, down charge no, type. No. She knows exactly where she's going and she knows why she's going in that position as well. Yeah, here you go, the body shots again. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, I was going to say she reminds me of Katie Taylor in the sense that if you were a male sparring partner, you'd know you'd have to be on it oh, if yeah, you were in with Hamadouche. You really yeah. would, wouldn't you? Yeah. She's not giving you any time off. No. No, she's really I mean, you, you've told me Zero. some of the stories about some of the top amateurs that have been with Katie Taylor, and they've said yeah. to you, oh boy, you got to be on it. You know yeah. what? I wouldn't mind the referee jumping in here. Yeah, I really I was wouldn't. Thinking the same, Enough's right? enough yeah, here. Yeah, I was thinking the same, you know. Yeah, I mean, exactly she's got, the same. She's yeah. got a big no, heart, but out there's a gun shield. Just, just, come on. Just come on. This is, come this on. is, this is not, this is not nice now. No. 
this has been repetitive. This has been a repetitive beating now. Yeah, and that's all it is now. Past, for the past four or five rounds. That's a beat now. Yeah. Yeah, Just she's had up, enough. Yeah, she's, she's had enough. She's get her out of there. Get out of there, ref. If the referee doesn't do it, the corner needs to Come do on. it. But somebody needs to put a stop to this. Come on. She's had enough. She's waved it off herself. And I don't blame her one little bit. I mean, boy, did she take her lumps tonight, Nina Pavlovich. Wow. You know what? There's always talking boxing. Oh, they quit. They quit. Yeah. Quitters. But you know what? She earned the right to just say, no, I've yeah, had enough here, no, didn't she? she did. Yeah, no, definitely. It was terrible. You know, she was almost thrown up in the corner there. Yeah. The referee done nothing, really. And the corner did nothing. They never. They weren't even anywhere to be seen. you got to look after your fighter. But I don't think she was well served tonight at all, Nina Pavlovich. Big, big heart, but just physically overwhelmed by Maiva Hamadouche, who successfully retains her IBF super featherweight title and will be looking now at unification fights. Three of the champions under the same promotional banner. The, the odd one out is the WBO champ, Michaela Mayer, who's already said that, yeah, well, I want to get involved in uh, some of those unification fights as well. She's been uh, yelling long and loud that she wants Terry Harper. Harper looked so much better after that uh, scare against uh, Natasha Jonas in uh, stopping Katarina Tanders with one hand. Harper broke her right hand in the fourth round there. And uh, Hyun Mi Choi will get to see what she does. At an early draw on her record. Hyun Mi Choi, Terry Harper and Michaela Meyer all unbeaten. Hamadouche only one defeat. That came at lightweight against, as I say, Delphine Persoon. Yeah. I mean, those are some... Very, very tasty unification fights to be made then in that division. Yeah. And I'd like to yeah. see them made. And I'd like to see what she does when she's got something coming back at her. When she's got it all her own way, she's a force. So what happens when somebody's coming back at you? Well, good luck coming back at this girl. <laughs> this way. <laughs> if, she gets, uh, if she gets off to a good start and gets on that front foot nice and early, she is going to take some stop in that. She, I use this word very advisedly, I hope she enjoyed her experience, Nina Pavlovich. It was a huge step up for her on paper. That's how it's turned out. I hope this doesn't discourage her because we, we saw a lot to like about her. Lots. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Enrico Delizzi has at our boxers. We have the official time of 1 minute 34 seconds of round number 8. Signor Terlizzi calls a halt to the action. In his opinion, Nina Pavlovic in no position to continue. Therefore, the winner by TKO and still the IBS Super Featherweight Champion of the World from Paris, France, Maiva El Veneno Amador. There it is, yet another successful defense. And she adds to that IBF belt. Hope we get to see Nina.